Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Rebecca, with another quick fragrance video. Uh, today, I'm going to kind of change up my uh, my normal format. I've been doing a lot of first impressions videos, and or maybe just here and there, just do like a little quick review of a of a fragrance that I've uh, picked up here and there. Um, kind of going to be the same thing, um, but it's going to be a, kind of a combination of all of them. Uh, today, I'm going to do a video um, on some of my favorite uh, Creed clones. Um, Kind of not a huge fan of Creed anymore. Uh, if I can get my hands on a good price or, or you know in a good swap, I'll, I'll definitely pick up a bottle and wear it and whatnot. But uh, some of these houses out there, um, like uh, Armoff and uh, let's see Rasazi and Lomani and a few of these others out there, are completely just doing a, a good job of getting some good clones. I've tried some other ones like Insurrection Pure. I actually did a video on that one. That was okay, but I still stuck with the Avenis. And most of the originals are going to be better just because that's, uh, the, you know, Creed has pretty good quality stuff. They don't last very long in my opinion, but, you know, it's still good quality uh, ingredients and whatnot. Uh, but uh, I've come across a few uh, this year, 2015, or t the end of 2015, 2016, we'll just say, um, on a few. And these have been out for a while. I've just recently been hearing a lot more about them lately. Um, but I finally got my hands on them, had, you know, sold a few fragrances here and there and had some money to just kind of pick them up and give them a shot. So I'm going to give you, um, three of my favorites right now. And well, okay, two of my favorites right now for sure. And the third one is going to be a blind first impression. I just got it in the mail today. So, uh, that'd be, that's kind of a combination of all my videos there. So the first one I'm going to do is, um, is a Creed, uh, uh, clone of uh, what is it uh, Royal Oud and Royal Oud was one of my favorites a little while back it just didn't last very long um, and that's the reason why I, I bought it had a 2.5 ounce bottle or whatever I, I don't think I ever reviewed it but I really enjoyed the scent and to me I simply put it, it smelled like sweet um, wood uh, what's it called um, like wood shavings or whatever you know like uh, if you were to if you were to get like a, 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 a saw or something and cut a piece of like good smelling wood maybe some cedar um the little like the room would smell like uh somewhat like what royal oud smells like i'm not really sure i didn't really look at the ingredients but uh we'll just say cedar just um just for the sake of looking it up right now um but but you know it's a, it's a real nice woody scent it's uh it smells really good um so i heard of one here recently online uh one of the groups that i'm in and uh said that this one smelled pretty much like it found it on ebay for like 25 30 bucks for 100 mil so like you know not very much money i'll give it a shot and see what it smells like um that is lomani intense black here's the box if you can see that there it kind of has like a uh little hologram type of thing there um but yeah so this one is a uh, by the by the house of lomani and i believe lomani lomani made like ab spirit and made a few others ab spirit i believe is supposed to smell like uh silver mountain water uh, and he, they have a couple. I didn't do that much research just to kind of keep it short. So, But I know they have a couple of others that are, are sort of Creed clones. Uh, here's the bottle. Looks like this. Kind of a loose cap, but it's low money. I mean, it's $25, $30 bucks, uh, for this fragrance, so it's not going to be... I mean, it's not bad looking. You know, the sprayer works pretty good. Kind of a cool presentation. I think this is glass, which has like the matte finish on it, so it's kind of rubbery almost. Good grip on it. But, uh, yeah, I got to say, this is like my, this is really, really similar to uh royal oud and it i haven't done the side by side test but i have a pretty good memory when it comes to these and this one actually does last to me a little bit longer than royal oud does um it and when i smelled it for the first time i remember thinking yeah that's it like it only takes me maybe a couple of minutes just to figure out whether it's close enough to the original and yeah this took exactly took me to um to royal oud and everything all the good things of royal oud that i really enjoyed about it so yeah so it just smells like you know, wood shavings, um, sweet, kind of woody, um, aromatic, uh, which is, that's what it's, I think it's what it, yeah, it's considered, it's a woody aromatic. So that is um, for my f favorite Creed clone right now that I think smells the best and probably lasts longer than the actual thing. Um, it's going to be Lomani Black Intense. You guys should get your nose on this one, 25, 30 bucks. Um, yeah, I think it's worth it. I mean, at least it's worth a try. Um, so, yeah, that's that one. If you guys tried it, let me know in the comments what you guys think of it. So, yeah, that's Lomani Intense Black. Um, the next one I had, uh, which this one it was my biggest um, my biggest surprise because I have um, 
I have tried quite a bit. I think I tried three. Three Aventus clones. One, one was Insurrection Pure. I tried uh, Fresco. And I tried uh, Unpredictable Adventure, I think, was the other one. I mean, these are all super cheap. I think Fresco, I think I got it online for 15 bucks, And, you know, it was okay. It didn't last very long. Um, AB Spirit, or no, I'm sorry. Uh, whatchamacallit? The, uh, I can't think right now. Fresco. I already said that. Fresco was okay. The uh, Unpredictable Adventure had had some of the similar uh, notes to it, but it, it didn't blow me away. And the uh, Insurrection Pier 2 was really similar to it, and I liked it. It just didn't last very long. Now, did I get, uh, you know, uh, what is it called? Um, you know, where you, olfactory fatigue when you, it just, you can't smell it anymore, but people can still smell on you. Maybe, but I, I didn't get anybody really commenting on it later on in the day going like, hey, you know, you smell, you still smell really good or anything. So, I don't know. Could it have been that? Maybe, because that's what happens with Aventus apparently all the time. So maybe it's close enough to do that. Um, but this one, I actually saw some people talking about this a while back. Found a good price for it. Again, had some extra money. I was like, you know what? I'll go buy it. See, see what I think about it. And that is going to be, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Armoff's Club de Nuit Intense. Which is an Aventus clone. Sorry, I have the plastic on there. I like to keep the plastic on my on my boxes just in case I resell them. I can, I can if I sell them online, I can you know it looks better when you give it to them with the plastic on there. So uh, yes, yeah, so that's the box. There, it's a hundred mil. I think I paid thirty bucks for this, maybe thirty four. Um, I think I got it on eBay, but I'll have to double check on that. Here's the bottle. Um, don't really know too much about this house. I know I think they have a woman's version of this. That's supposed to smell like uh, Nui. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not Nui. Uh, Noir de Noir by, by Tom Ford. So anyway, so that's that's the bottle here, and uh, yeah, so this is probably the most closest um, I've ever gotten to Aventus. Um, people online are saying that it's a super duper strong or it's super duper like cheap smelling or whatever. Well, the only thing the reason I can think of that is that this is an intense version, so I think that. It's just the notes are just completely concentrated, so it, it smells a lot stronger. You're probably picking up all this extra stuff that you're not normally picking up like in like other Aventus clones or even in Aventus, actually, because I just recently sold my bottle because I needed some money, so um, just some extra spending money. And so this one right here, I've gotten tons of compliments on this one, like uh, three so far, the last three times I've worn it. Um, somebody was like, wow, you smell great. You know, uh, the other, somebody was like... Um, so, no, it was actually four, and another girl was like, uh, oh, yeah, you're, you're wearing that Aventus today, aren't you? So, obviously, you know, to the, so the, to the common nose, they can't really figure it out, and this is only 30, 35 bucks, something like that, 30 bucks. Uh, to the common nose, they can't really tell the difference. To me, honestly, this thing lasts longer than, than um, like, I could actually smell it on myself longer. Now, everyone says Aventus, you know, like I said before, olfactory fatigue, you can't smell it after a while, but it's still there. Well, I can actually smell this one still, like four hours later it's still popping like hard um it's like jumping off my skin um so uh yeah so th this is like the best clone i've i've gotten so far now, again like there's slight things that i don't like about it like off the top right when you get it's kind of mealy almost like you smell it, it almost smells kind of like oatmeal-y there's something in there that it just but you know after it opens up after like you know 30 minutes or something actually it, it, it you that dies down quite a bit that's what i'm saying i think you should, i just think these notes are so concentrated that uh, they're just so concentrated, I just think that it's really harsh on the nose at, at the beginning. So you're getting everything in its purest form, but after a while it dies down. And uh, I wore this today, and uh, I was at the mall, and I actually went to a fragrance shop just to see if they had something in. And the guy was like, "Oh yeah, you're wearing a Venice, right?" And I was like, uh, "Yeah, you know, didn't really want to, didn't really want to uh, tell the fragrance guy I was being a cheapy guy, I guess." But um, yeah, so I mean, this this thing right here is pretty good actually for 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 the money. Um, and so I definitely, I mean, I would recommend at least, you know, trying it. it. It wouldn't hurt, you know, getting your hands on this. 30 bucks, 35 bucks, something like that shipped. Um, 100 mil. And this stuff's strong. I go, I go hard on the trigger because I want, I want, I do want to be noticed. I like people, I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm, a, I'm like obnoxious with it. I'm not, I don't like being, a, uh, you know, uh, all up in people's face with it or whatnot. But this stuff right here so far, it's been a 10. Like it's been working really well for me. I've gotten nothing but compliments for it. It hasn't, hasn't gotten any negative compliments. And so, yeah, I'd go with Club de, Club de Nuit, Intense for Men. Uh, try that one for the, if you like, if you want to try a cheaper version of Aventus, definitely that's going to be the way to go. Now, as for 
This one, I haven't opened it yet, so hopefully I won't be uh, spending too much time here. So I'll try to talk while I open it. Um, I heard about this one literally like two days ago, so this is pretty good shipping that this place got me. Um, and I got it from Beauty Spin, if you guys ever heard of Beauty Spin. And uh, so this was supposed to be a knockoff of uh, Silver Mountain Water. Now I did buy, there's quite a few out there. There is AB Silver. There is the the most popular one was oh my gosh what was it called? They had the little roll on bottles. It was it was called Silver, but I can't remember the name of the house. Something Silver. Um, they're like a a, a a house from like in uh, overseas, like over in the Gulf Coast or you know where um, I don't know India or wherever you know. I'm sorry, I can't I can't think of right now where it's from, but uh, you guys will know. I'll, I'll put it in the description. But oh. Um, I just had it. Anyway, it's called Silver, and it came in a little white box, and they, m most of them came in roll-ons. I actually ended up getting a spray of it a while back, but it was just really, I took it to Chicago with me and wore it. It was kind of warm up there a couple years ago, um, but it was just really linear. It didn't change too much, which I don't, I remember uh, Silver Mountain Water Creed's changing a little bit anyway, just to make it interesting, you know, and that one really didn't change too much. It was pretty much the same from the beginning all the way to the end, so it wasn't too exciting for me. Um, that little bottle was a one ounce, I believe. Um, and I know it was called Silver. I just can't remember the name of the house right now. Um, I'm sure I'll think of it in a minute. So this, here it is right here. It's actually a really big box. The name of this house, which you've heard of it before, because, uh, they're called Rosazi. And Rosazi, actually I did a, I might have done a video on this one. It was, uh, their Tuscan leather clone, y La Yakawam, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Layakawam is a Tuscan leather clone, and that actually is a really good uh, for uh, Tom Ford clone. If you guys ever want to get a cheaper version of Tom's Ford Tuscan leather, to me, it's actually better. To my nose, I liked it because the part I liked about uh, Tuscan leather was the berries, like the raspberry or whatever it is they put in there. And so, um, Layakawam actually had more berry notes to my nose in it anyway, and I enjoyed it even more. And that stuff, beast! Like you gotta go easy on the trigger, cause, but it's like. Uh, $65, I think, on Beauty Spin. Maybe it might have gone up in price. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and open the plastic here. Here's the box. Kind of a cool presentation. Pretty big, look a book. So, yeah, Rosazi has quite a few. I think they have one called Tobacco Blaze. Um, and I can't, I won't be able to keep the plastic on this one just because it's, uh, for time's sake, and it'd be hard to kind of get it back on there because it kind of looks like a book. But, um, Rosazi has Tobacco Blaze, they did La Yakawam, and they did a couple of others that are, uh, pretty popular too. So, I saw this one, this one's called Al Wissam, Al Wissam Day, it says Born to Win on it, Live Your Day, um, I guess it's, and I looked online, they actually have a night version that looks just like this, same box, same bottle, but it's black with blue, I think, instead of the silver, and it's supposed to smell like Royal Oud, so go figure um, so here's the sleeve and here is the bottle somebody on the in the fragrance group was really talking about this one saying that actually it's, it's an EDP concentrate I paid $38 ship for this one um, 100 mil uh, it's supposed to smell just as auto parfum it's supposed to be stronger and very 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 similar to um, silver mountain water I've never tried it before so give myself a clean arm here and I will let you know what I say or what I think what I smell cool little crystal looking cap there with the name in it I mean it's a cool looking deal and it kind of has it this the clear glass there to the middle yeah has the patented white like silver mountain water does on Creed silver mountain water bottle has white with a silver cap so you know clearly they're trying to go for the same thing but if it's good enough you know if it, if it smells strong enough or whatever, uh, or even better, to me, I have no shame in buying a cheaper version of something if it's going to last longer, smell better, and definitely save money. So here we go. I'll let you know what I think. Yeah, off the top, it reminds me of Silver Mountain Water. Mmm. Yeah, it's uh, definitely strong. 
Is it stronger than Silver Mountain Water? Silver Mountain Water, I believe, I remember it having more of a... There's like an inky note in, in Silver Mountain Water. Yeah. I mean, this isn't bad. I mean, there's not really too much I can really go into without spending another five minutes, but... Yeah, it has a very similar vibe. I'm getting some florals in there. I'm guessing there's some rose is what I hear that's in there. So that's actually a little bit more prominent than Silver Mountain Water. Silver Mountain Water, to me, if I can remember correctly, it was more citrus. And it had like an inkiness to it. But there's like... Some different stuff going on here. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm smelling like maybe this far off my arm right now. So it's projecting okay, I guess, for now. I don't know. i got to wear it outside. I also bought this because uh, it's going to start getting warm in a couple of months. So I wanted to kind of get the jump on something. Because I really did like that silver, that um, that first clone that I tried, the silver mountain water. That one's actually pretty concentrated too. I want, I want to say even that might even be stronger than this one right now off the top. Yeah, it's starting to fade a little quick on me. Not really sure if that's a good sign or not because I heard this was supposed to be pretty beast mode. But maybe my nose is just getting used to it. I'm not really sure. Yeah, it's definitely not exactly. It's, it's starting to change a little bit. It's not exactly like um, Silver Mountain Water. This one's getting a little bit sweeter, maybe. And a little more floral. But then again, I guess I guess I never really sat down and like tried to like figure out, you know, what you know, what Silver Mountain Water actually smelled like. I always just knew I liked it, but it definitely has like the same DNA. It's, they're going down the same highway, driving the same car, maybe the two different paint jobs though. Yeah. Uh, although, it's, I guess, like I said, it's dying pretty quick, so maybe maybe it's just, I don't know, I'll have to wear this a lot longer. Maybe I could do an update video or something, but. Okay, well, the jury has deliberated, and this one smells like Silver Mount Water. Which one lasts longer, I won't be able to tell you. I go pretty hard on the trigger with these fragrances, so, you know, even if it was pretty light, I would still make it work for me that's what i do with creeds anyway um but yeah i mean this smells like it so is it gonna be my favorite silver mountain water i don't know uh the first two um lomani intense black definitely is my favorite uh clone of um of uh royal oud and this by far is the best in my opinion uh aventus clone out there uh this stuff's definitely worth the money it's it's it lasts a long time. It smells great. It gets me compliments. Um, so if you like um, Aventus, but you don't want to, uh, and you actually want to have a bottle and a box delivered to your house for thirty five dollars, and you, you want to stop messing with decants, try some of this stuff. Definitely worth it. It's actually very pleasant. This is, this is really nice. It's lightened up quite a bit, but it's still what it, this new scent that it's giving off is really nice. It's really a uh, this is definitely better than the first, uh, that little silver I was telling you about. This has a little more personality. It has a little, a few different stages in it. Hmm. How long will it last? I don't know. It's, it's already kind of starting to die down. It's only been a few minutes, so I don't really like that too much. Maybe, maybe in the in the summertime because this is gonna summer fragrance. Maybe it'll it'll kind of whatever. But you know, it's funny. Most people just put two or three sprays on and they leave the house. I don't do that. I don't think most people in Fragcom don't do that either. They want to be they want to be smelled. So you guys will probably put more. I'll probably put like five or six of these on. I'll probably go one, two, three, four, five, six, just to kind of keep it on. But all in all, yeah, this smells pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's buy worthy right now. So you know, but if you want to try a cheaper version of Silver Mountain Water, I mean, this was like 35 bucks shipped with a 10% coupon code on a. Uh, Hmm, I'm almost getting like an apple now. Like an apple scent. It's not bad. 
um, for beautyspin.com. I, I don't work for beautyspin, so maybe they should pay me or something. But uh, I went on beautyspin.com. We use a 10% code. I think it's for like new member, new users or whatever. And this was like maybe 38 after shipping. Yeah, this one has definitely has a better life. Um, I'll try wearing it more, um, and we'll see how it goes. I'm at 20 minutes now, so probably gotta let you guys go. Thank you guys again for watching, for subscribing, for commenting, and all that stuff. Really appreciate it. Uh, so this was my video for the best, in my opinion, uh, since everyone has to say that, uh, in my opinion, uh, best uh, Creed um, cheapies out there, clones. Um, and so until the next video, you guys take care of yourselves. Hope everyone has a safe, great weekend coming up. Today is Thursday. Mm, yeah, so it smells good. So, I might be a keeper. We'll see. Alright, guys, till the next video, y'all take care of yourselves. Bye.